What's up internet, Narco Sarko back. Okay, by now I've seen a ton of videos out there trying to help you boost your performance by copying over someone's in-game settings, someone's video settings, or getting some recommendations about in-game settings. But most of them also then escalate into opening the console and turning off various features like clouds and fog. While that really helps and can also give an advantage in PvP, I wanted to lay out another option here that everybody owning an NVIDIA graphics card has. And in my opinion, it's a really powerful option because all you really have to do is press one button and uh, you're good. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if you own a graphics card made by NVIDIA, you're most likely familiar with this app here. It's called GeForce Experience and it's where you download new drivers and it's also the place where you can optimize your games for your graphics card. Starting out in this home tab right here, this is where you'll see all your currently installed games, at least all the games that GeForce Experience is able to see. If you don't see your game here, just hit the settings tab up here and go to games and apps. Here you can add your game locations, then hit scan now. And then you should be able to see all your games. So we're gonna click on Ark Survival Ascended here. Now you're in this neat little window with pictures of the game explaining the various graphic settings and what they do if you change them. Can be pretty handy, but what we're here for is this green optimize button and uh, the wrench right next to it. So if you click on the wrench, you're gonna get this menu right here where you can select your resolution and what mode you're gonna play in. And also you're gonna get this performance slider here. Now the great thing about this is if you're somewhere within this optimal spec, you're always pretty much guaranteed a playable experience. And if you go more to the left to performance, it's gonna adjust your settings tailored to your PC to give you more FPS while still retaining the best looks possible. So if you want more FPS, stick to the left. And for me, I'm just gonna leave it on optimal because it looks amazing. After all of that, just hit apply and boom, you're done. These settings are gonna apply at the next start. You can also launch it right from here and we're done. All right, back in game, it's running smooth and looks pretty amazing. Now, I just wanted to show you some of my in-game preferences that I just like to adjust. Starting with motion blur, which I always turn off, together with light plumes here in arc. And uh, it just makes it look a little sharper and light bloom, in my opinion, here in arc is just a little too bloomy. Now with all of that out of the way, let's have a look at the, some more destructive settings. With r.volumetric clouds space zero, you can turn off pretty much all the clouds. Then right next with r.volumetric fog zero and r.fog zero, you can turn off all the other fog in game and it's pretty much a clear sky all the way, all the time. Even if you're not chasing after every last FPS, this can be very handy if you're on top of a mountain somewhere and it's just super foggy and your screen is just white. Then you just use r.volumetric cloud zero and you'll be able to see again. With this, thanks for tuning in. I hope I was able to spare you from some of the settings headache here. And if it did, consider leaving a like and a comment, and hopefully, see you soon.